This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone? Like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. You only get one chance to make a first expression. This'll give intruders something to think about. <laughs> what do we have here? Yep. This'll do. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. Looking good, Robobulb.
Shit. I slept all day. Wh what the hell? Dad? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness but darkness blinds with absence with loss what does fire blind with beauty but sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? He could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks.
Damn. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A cool blue light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me, too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. <sighs> last I checked? You're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc... So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step fuck because he's a stupid fucking fuck. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew. 
and pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to ch check out Rachel Amber. Pretty.
Time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking. <laughs> a bad full of clothes. This is a friendly reminder from the folks down at Ted's Bread Spreads that the hate yes, is not a special state out of Oregon for some reason. So get out there and buy a jar of Ted's Hazelnut Spread today. Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go?
is it? Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. <laughs> okay. But he's not a poodle, Frank. No, he's not. But I'm gonna treat him like one. Okay. So, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. As long as you're selling quality stuff, nobody's going to care what you tell me. God, Price. Don't you have enough dumb high school shit going on? Why get hung up on some chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. Well, I guess you're not asking for life or death information here. I'm holding your drug dealing account book. You obviously trust me already, so what are you waiting for? I don't know. Frank. Talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No, but I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. Well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? 
Huh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. Uh, I'm not supposed to be at Black Bob. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Welcome to hell. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? 
Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Come on. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... never. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? So, uh... <laughs> What about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh... What, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely. And afraid. That's not true at all, man. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has. With much love and no room for fear. I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something. 
Doesn't it? Too bad. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. <sighs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since never. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. There's Evan, putting his pretentious <sighs> art above his sanity, as usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Locked. Look, figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Come on. But Evan is right there. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? 
I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. <sighs> Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to... Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. What? No, I... I... Uh, uh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that. Ugh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh! <laughs> Oh, well, uh, that, that's funny, because I've, I've, got, I've got reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. What, what did you just say? Damn. Matthews. Skip Matthews. really lost it there. All right, time to find you. All right, which one is Drew's room? That's not half bad. Okay. Who is Elliot? <laughs> Wait. Are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? What do I want to say in response? Emotional. Loyal. Introverted. Uh, odd. And... Talented? <laughs> 